Today we're treating a keratotic lesion and we'll be doing it with the transderm solutions system. Uh, the system is comprised of a pack that has all the items necessary for the uh, complete treatment to be performed. Uh, those items include the three solutions, the green cap, yellow cap, and red cap solutions that will be applied in sequence here. And the applicators are also included. Uh, we also have two occluding bandages, one large one if we have a large lesion or multiple lesions in an area, or a smaller one, which we will be using in this case to occlude this lesion at the end of the procedure now. Uh, also, for, at the 24-hour period, there is a curette and included, which is disposable, uh, for the actual debridement to be performed on this lesion uh, in 24 to 48 hours. We will be doing it in approximately 24 hours. The solutions that we'll be applying are contained in this test tube, which helps to control the humidity uh, in this area. The uh, solutions are very sensitive to ambient moisture, and that will degrade their ability to perform the treatment. Uh, the first one that we'll be taking out is the actual green solution, and we will be applying that to the lesion. You'll be applying it for approximately one minute. Literally just touching, pressing, reintroducing to have more moisture from that solution applied to the lesion. As you can see, I'm depressing the tissue. It appears wet. It will never appear dry. You just want to keep doing it, keep applying the solutions even though it appears that it is moist already. Apply it to the lesion, to the surrounding area. It's not going to cause any damage to the surrounding hydrated normal tissue. This is very specific for the hyperkeratinized tissue that is present with these type of IPK lesions. Having applied the uh, green cap solution, we now proceed to the yellow cap solution. We've applied the uh, green cap solution for approximately a minute. And these must be placed in sequence. So green cap first, then the yellow. Again, you can see how the tissue is being depressed. Helping to introduce the solutions through the lesion. Rewetting again. If you do have multiple lesions, then you can use the green solution on se several lesions and then follow with the yellow, just like we're doing here. Having completed the application of the green, followed by the yellow solutions, both uh, being applied for approximately a minute each. We now have the red cap solution that we will be applying directly to the gauze of the bandage that is going to be used to occlude the lesion. Actually take the red cap solution and Generously apply it to the gauze. See how we're allowing it to actually soak into the gauze. And this is the solution now that will drive these solutions even deeper into the base of the lesion during the next 24 to 48 hour period. As I said, we'll be doing this for approximately 24 hours. And then actually 
apply the gauze and the occluding bandage like so. And the instructions to the patient at this point are to not touch this in any way, shape, or form. No source of water should touch the foot until approximately one to three hours before the uh, return visit for the debridement. Then the patient will literally take their foot and need to have it soaked in warm water for 15 minutes. So in a bowl, in a tub, uh, but it does need to be soaked. And at that time, the solutions will then uptake the uh, water and actually cause the swelling and breakdown of the hyperkeratinized tissue, which we will see in approximately 24 hours. But that concludes this portion of the applications. Um, the solutions after, 20, after 48 hours need to be disposed of because they will no longer have the potency necessary because of the water uptake. Uh, but I am recapping, putting it in here. And then we will have the curette tomorrow for the actual debridement to take place. Okay, we are now going to be removing the bandage that has been occluding this uh, keratotic lesion for the last 24 hours. And immediately you can see the turgidity of the tissue here. This is where the central core is located. And this tissue has now been softened and we will be able to do the debridement now.